Hello there guys and welcome to this video. So yeah, almost every hero in Mobile Legends is getting some sort of rework done to them right now. As you probably saw from the title in this video. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys all of the reworks that we are actually getting. Like, the game is getting pretty re reworked here, so just... Just... Yeah, this is amazing. Um, they send out this battlefield map adjustment notification on the uh, like on the in-game mail in the game and like this is a very long thing guys. If you don't want to watch this I have other videos which you can watch but there's quite a lot of information in here which you're probably gonna want to know. So anyways guys I'm gonna start off at the top of this and I'm gonna go through all of it in time. So yeah a word from the designers. Dear players in order to keep the game fair as well as to provide the best user experience, we are always working hard to improve the hero balancing and other related aspects of the game. Through spectating the MCS, we have found out that certain heroes rarely exhibit their true potential. And after reading the feedback provided to us through official channels, we have decided to make alterations towards the game map and some heroes. We hope that after these changes, more heroes will be viable to enter the battlefield. So, yeah, first off they have the map changes, they've changed the location of Turtle and Lord, as you can see here. Lord is now, like, both Lord and Turtle have like a small isle in the middle of the river, which, uh, I don't know, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, there's not really, like, anything more changed to them, but yeah, we can see. From analyzing the gameplay and statistics of the MCS, we have found out that in the current state, teams who happen to be closer to the Turtle Lord gain a decisive advantage in contesting for them. This is not what we had hoped for in the initial design, and in the new version we are moving the Turtle and the Lord to a more central position of the river. This will make players pay more attention towards them, thus the competition for these objectives will come, become even more fierce in the future. Regarding the Turtle and Lord changes, we will follow two playstyle influenced proposals the other proposal will be followed through after the next update. So they are gonna change Turtle and Lord more, but uh, still, like in this patch, they've only moved them to make it more fair, I guess. And yeah, guys, they've also moved the River Crab or the Hermit Crab or whatever you want to call it. And the reason they moved it was because they, according to them, it was too far away from battle, so it didn't really get the attention it needed, according to them. So they move it closer to the lanes, so people will like attack them. Easy, like go for them easier and also the rock golem has been removed from the new map entirely and will be replaced by a um, a new monster called the spiderling which is basically a small blue buff it doesn't give the blue buff but like it's a small blue buff next to the blue buff which you can see here and uh, yeah maybe that was a good idea maybe not i i don't really know like it um uh, it decreases the amount of movement you need to do for the jungle overall, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think it looks cool. Repositioning of certain map objects and bushes. In order to give the 5v5 classic mode more strategy and competitiveness, we have moved around the certain physical objects and bushes within the jungle. With these changes, we hope to give the jungle progression and gankers more choice. P.S. At the same time, champions like Fanny who have wall interactions will have a slightly user experience change. Even though these were initial plans, we're still happy to see the positive influences. Also, after hero attributes and map changes, we will strongly focus on statistics and player feedback in order to make the most suitable changes. To make sure that players will have the optimus, optimal experience, we are supposed to like answer experience surveys so if you get a survey please answer because like your voice it, it really counts okay and here we have some of the revamped hero stuff the new heroes and everything and they can't really decide for a name on Argus Night Stalker sort of blah 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 like he has three different names in the game so far but uh, I don't know anyways we have Argus he will cost 599 diamonds or 32,000 battle points with 30% off the first week and he, uh, yeah, I have a gameplay video on him, you can see a link in the description down below, he's totally amazing. Some changes to the weekly hero rotation, yeah, yeah, we know that. A new Nana skin, which is this one, it looks really cute, guys. Uh, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know, 
looks like a cute skin, not really a battle, like, a battle skin, from per se, but like, it's a cute skin, I, I kinda like it. And it's also gonna cost 599 diamonds, with 30% off the first week. And, um, yeah, so hero adjustments, they have adjusted the attack speed growth on certain marksman heroes, they also adjusted Hilda, Lapa Lapa, Ruby and Sun's attack range, as well as the attack range indicator. On Grok they have optimized the audio for his skill effects and they've increased the damage on Wild Charge by 100% and uh, Power of Nature they have decreased the cast time on that to optimize the feel and fix the bugs where caster can only see the Power of Nature's special effects. They have also sh changed the Astral Gift by adding effects and immune to crowd control when near walls and towers. That's pretty OP, they have really changed Grok into something that is like totally OP. Also the new Akai, Thousand Ponders, cooldown for every level decreased by 1. And on the Tai Chi one, amount of shield that can go over max health increased from 5 to 8%. They have changed Harley's poker trick, where base damage is 140 plus skill level times 10. It's now increased to 150, 170, 180, 200, 210, 230, depending on level. They've changed Nana's Magic Dart, where the base damage used to be 140 plus skill level times 25, and increased it to 140 plus skill level times 40, which is pretty sick. Like it's it's very it's very much higher now. AP ratio changed from 1 to 0.5. And the Morph Spell's AP ratio has been changed from 1 to 1.1 to... And the Morph Spell's AP ratio has been changed from 1.1 to 0.5. Aurora Skin Dark Knight model, I think they've messed up here. Uh, Dark Knight model? Honestly, I don't really know. I think they've messed up with the skin. I, I guess they mean one of the Aurora skins. Frost Chuck, base damage 260 plus skill level times 40 increased to 240 plus skill level times 60. An AP ratio change from 1.5 to 1.2. Bitter Frost has also gotten a damage increase. They have received the initial base damage, but they have increased the level times damage. So instead of having skill level times 60, they have skill level times 80. And also the HP ra AP ratio has been changed from 2 to 1.6. Coldness destroyed, base damage at every level increases by 100, and AP ratio has been decreased from 2 to 1.7. Kagura's attack speed growth has been adjusted from 3.2 to 2.2%. And the attack same umbrella open, base damage used to be 300 plus scale level times 30, but it has been increased to base 275 plus skill level times 55 so in the beginning it will be weaker but it will be stronger during late game oh my god there's there's so many hero changes anyways Alice flowing blood base damage 300 plus skill level times 30 that's what it used to be it's been increased to 290 plus skill level times 60 so same case for Alice weaker in the beginning stronger in the late game we have a lot of changes to Cyclops as well. Stardust Shock, base damage used to be 200 plus skill level times 20, but it has been increased to 185 plus skill level times 35. AP ratio changed from 0.5 to 0... from 0.7 to 0.5. Planet's Attack. Yeah, basically all of his attacks has been changed to make him more... to make him stronger, basically. We also have Gord. Mystic Favor, remade into every fourth consecutive attack on an enemy will deal 200 plus 2 times AP points of magic power damage. Mystic Projectile, effects stun range increased by 15%. Mystic Injection, base damage 65 plus skill level times 15 increased to 80 plus skill level times 20. An AP ratio changed from 0.2 to 25, what they must mean 2.5, otherwise that's just gonna be insane. Mythic Gush, base damage 100 plus skill level times 30 has been increased to 120 plus skill level times 50, an AP ratio has been changed from 0.4 to 0.6. Estes, the Code of Moon Elves, the um, passive Estes has 
the recharge rate has been increased by one fourth or 25 percent that's insane guys the recharge rate is still like it's very fast oh my god carry with a c for some reason cooldown change from 6 to 5.2 to 4.4 to 3.6 to 2.8 to 2 oh that used to be the thing so they have increased the cooldown for carry so she's getting a small nerf casting speed lightning we will now decrease attack speed on, on you or on enemies I, I don't really understand hayabusa Quad Shadow, slightly the speed of the precast after using Quad Shadow, moving the shadow more quickly, fixing the issue of being, of being able to still cast Quad Shadow even when under crown control. No! No, 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 this is bad. Okay, so Hayabusa is getting a nerf, basically. You're not gonna be allowed to use your Quad Shadow when being under the influence of crowd control, which is pretty bad, because that like that's one of the main features of Hayabusa. Oh no, Hayabusa is getting a real nerf. Well, oh rip. We then have some changes to some tanks. Gyonsun, the buffed auto attack range will be increased by 50%. And rapid touchdown, max base damage 600, 900, 1200 has been increased to 750, 1125, and 1500. Max damage AP ratio change from 1.8 to 0.75, so they have really decreased the AP ratio. Fix the bug where that where stun is not displayed on actual effects. Franco, for Franco, Fury Shock. Base damage 220 plus 25 times skill level increased to 320 plus 30 times skill level. Viking Blood regenerative health change from 0.5 to 1%, so they've increased that. Oh my god, there's so many, like, um, honestly, every single hero almost is getting a, like, remake. This is incredible. Garot Gacha. Blast Iron Fist. Base damage, 250 plus skill level times 25, increased to 240 plus skill level times 60. Cooldown chain from 8 to 7.4 to 8. Oh yeah, you, you can just read that, it's just too much. My throat is getting like, or, well, my, my jaw is getting really numb from this, it's been so long. Ruby, let's dance. Effect changed, Ruby's basic attack cannot lifesteal, Ruby's skill can lifesteal 125% of total gear physical attack. After every skill cast, Ruby can jump to another place, increasing physical attack and magic defense for a short period of time. Effects increased with level maxed out at third. Ruby starts with 5% physical lifesteal. <laughs> And another change to Let's Dance, in order to sync with backwards movement distance, forward movement distance is increased. Some changes to Balmond, base damage 50 plus skill level times 15 has been increased to 55 plus skill level times 25. Alpha, 4 swing, beta attack range increased by 15%, beta attack range increased by 15% and effects have been optimized. Long. Spear flip cooldown for each level increased by one second, so one second longer cooldown per level. Supreme Warrior increased movement speed change from 30%, 40%, 50% to 30, 35, 40. Held up, Blessing of Wilderness. Shield will continue indefinitely if in bush. So if you just enter a bush, you will have the shield. It won't run out. That's what? That's insane. Layla, attack range increased from 10. What? Attack range increased change from 10.75 to 8.75. So they have decreased their attack range, not increased it. Oh, okay. Sun, clones will no longer level up. Summon spirit monkeys will now be a higher level. Clones stats change from 30 to 35% of suns. And that's all of the hero changes. Holy crap, guys, that's a lot of hero changes. My my jaw is getting numb. But we're almost done guys, we also have some changes to minions and some new items. So, all cannon minions attacks increased by 10%, that's the minion changes. And we then have battle equipment. First up we have Hero's Ring, plus 150 max health, 5% cooldown reduction and a total price of 450 gold. Second item, Hero Ancient Ghost Statue. Plus 920 max HP, 70 re 
plus 920 max health, plus 70 health regen, and plus 5 cooldown reduction. And with a unique passive called Runner, which when leaving combat increases your movement speed by 60 points. This item can be built by having the Health Ring, Ares Belt, and Healing Necklace for a total price of 1,900 gold. The third item is Lightning Trucian, Tru Tru I can't really pronounce that. Plus 90 points of magic power, plus, plus 30 points of magic regeneration, and you will be dealing a total of. You will be dealing damage to a total of max 3 people by 150% of your own magic power, you will build this item by getting a magic wand, magic necklace times 2, and the total cost will be 250 gold. Or 2050 gold, I should say. We then have two new boots, wizard boots, which gives you a plus 300 maximum HP, 40% movement speed, and a passive called plunder, which on every assist you will receive 50 extra gold, you will uh, buy this item by getting boots and vitality crystal for a total of 700 gold. And the last item and the last part of this patch note, mobility. Another boots, boots of tranquility, plus 20 health regeneration and 20 magic regeneration. What a unique attribute of giving 40% of giving 40 movement speed and a unique passive which increases all health regen by 10%. You will build this item by getting boots, plus magic necklace, plus healing necklace, for a total price of 720 gold. So yeah guys, that's it for these patch notes, holy crap, they've been long, I can't really talk anymore. But I really hope you liked it, if you did, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below about what you think of the patch notes. Sorry for this being such a long video, but it was just so freaking much. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!